And now it's my honour to invite Tim and Lee to the stage to formally open the conference. All right, Doug, thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I don't want to bore you with this uh, speech. So. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much, uh, ministers, uh, distinguished delegates here, uh, fellow youth workers, uh, students, uh, we and youth stakeholders uh, for this very exciting get out in here. And I am really honored uh, to and delighted uh, to represent the voices of young people, of course, with the Commonwealth Youth Council at this uh, fourth uh, Commonwealth Youth Conference. And on behalf of the youth delegates, uh, the Commonwealth Youth Council, we truly are grateful to the Commonwealth Secretariat, the organizers of this uh, conference, including the National Youth Agency, uh, the KEWA, of course, uh, Department for Culture, Media and Sports, and University of Readings, and the hardworking uh, volunteers for hosting us. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. And I take this opportunity to commend and acknowledge uh, the youth workers, young leaders, youth-led organizations, stakeholders who make sacrifices and efforts at the forefront uh, to impact the lives of young people. That's why we are here. 60% of uh, common world, uh, 2.5 billion, uh, the, at the age of under 30. And that gives us a huge uh, potential an opportunity to accelerate a positive change. And with the team, the power of youth work, it's an essential driver to forge a sustainable and peaceful future for us. Unfortunately, over time, government priorities change, undermining the power of youth. So we are in a critical uh, post-COVID situation where high rates of unemployment Young people struggling to start their lives and with low salaries, high suicide rates, youth violence and alarm in health issues affecting us as young people. And of course, in fact, impact of climate change are more evident than ever. So the question to us is, how do we as young people, as governments, as stakeholders can empower, cultivate support in terms of resources finances and channel the power of youth work towards achieving a sustainable and peaceful future we want. So we have to work together. Together we share the responsibility to address issues affecting young people. Every one of us is bound to live with the consequences of our decision. Therefore, I call on governments, the private sector, the youth stakeholders and par uh, partners to recognize the power of youth and support efforts in youth development in every community, institution, and sector. Youth work is essential, and it's everyone's responsibility because youth is a cross-cutting agenda. In June 2022, governments uh, in the, at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Chikigali declared 2023 as the year of youth. So to realize this, we need commitment towards resources, financial support, and collaboration to advance youth empowerment. Fellow youth leaders, stakeholders, government representatives, as we go through this week's engagement and uh, share experiences, let us discuss and uh, craft ideas to work together, to continue the great work that you are doing in the communities, and of course, uh, empower youths, build their capacity mentor young people to drive positive change. The bearers of youth work we have gone through, such as Dr. Henry, whom we celebrate his life, have done their part. Now is our time. We have hope and the opportunity before us to forge the sustainable and future we want. And it's possible. And the honor is on you as youth, as youth workers, as our governments and stakeholders to realize that goal we want. Thank you so much for your hearing.